What about my personal response? Well, I've already talked a little bit about my uh, short-term uh, feelings, but my response to the suit was, I think, one of trying to do a better job and correct myself. And I think I became a little bit overzealous almost in terms of documentation because I was so fearful about having another problem like this crop up because of my short-sightedness. And I may have been a little bit too harsh on some of the residents or fellows about the documentation that they were putting in the chart. But I slowly over time, I began to, I think, uh, incorporated into my teaching and behavior with others, and it's something that I've followed through on now for uh, 30 or 25 years since this uh, event happened. In terms of my intermediate response, I think that it got me very interested in the medical legal process, and it helped me immensely as I was going through my 15 years on the OMIC board, because I would sit on the underwriting committee, and I would hear stories about physicians and things that they were happening, making underwriting decisions, as Ann talked about. And I would hearken back to my experience, and I would try to put that into, put it into perspective uh, of what had happened. And I think in the long term, uh, what it did is this. It's taking me uh, 26 years to be able to talk about this publicly. And it's really helped me to now come and speak before an audience such as this to tell them about the experience and to share information about what it's like to go through it and to, to point out that you don't have to be alone going through this, that there's help out there and that you should take advantage of it. If I could give you some uh, information on lessons learned uh, about my case, and I think it's true for just about everyone, prepare for involvement over a long period of time. The process and the wheels of the legal system move very slowly. Try to stay focused on the medicine that you're currently practicing and on the medicine that's involved in the case. That is the expertise that you can bring to your uh, particular situation. Read each and every document over and over again so that you are so familiar with the case and look for the small little things that can help you or may potentially hurt you and point those out to your attorney. Don't let emotions get the best of the situation. You've got to continue to function as a member of your family and as a member of the healthcare team and in your private practice or in your academic practice or wherever you are. So uh, you've got to somehow deal with the emotional impact. You need to spend time educating your attorney. If, you're ed if your attorney doesn't understand the medicine, you are sunk. You have got to educate your attorney and hopefully you'll have a good one that will listen and, and become educated. Don't try to be your own attorney, okay? Your expertise is medicine, it's not legal unless you happen to be a lawyer as well. Even then, you know, the, the worst doctor is being a doctor for yourself and the same thing about the legal process. Your attorney will help you out. Uh, and help your attorney find knowledgeable uh, uh, consultants and experts to help you. Uh, work with your claims representative on the team. You have a tremendous team with your malpractice carrier. They are working on your behalf, uh, not only because they want to, uh, you know, be for the finances of the company and the health and all of that, but because you are their client and they value your uh, business very, very much. They want to help you. Don't be negligent in your response to requests for information. Don't let deadlines pass. It's a real problem if you do. Uh, you should plan your day so that you can attend and listen to all depositions. It's not easy to sit there and listen to what the uh, plaintiff's attorney wants to say about you and what the plaintiff themselves may want to say about you and your care. You know that they have their own perspective on it and sometimes you want to stand up and say, no, that's not right, but you can't do that. But it's important for you to hear it because it will help you understand uh, the situation you find yourself in. Uh, read all of the depositions. Remember your spouse is your friend. Don't be afraid to confide in him or her, and don't hesitate to seek counseling if you need it. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share this with you. Appreciate it.